All right, welcome back everybody. We know there are a lot of questions out there about the coronavirus. Of course, the symptoms, the signs, and definitely the testing. So here with us now is Dr. Gary Many, the Chief Medical Officer at Medical Center of Southeast Texas. All right, first up, there hasn't been much conversation about pregnant women in that relation to the virus. Can you tell anything about so, that? So it would be the same as anybody else, okay. right? Um, although now you have a second entity you're dealing with, which is the baby. Mm -hmm. But the, the testing would be the same. The support of treatment would be the same um, in a pregnant lady. So you're, you're going to do the exact same steps you would do for someone that's not pregnant, although now you're dealing with an unborn baby that's involved in that situation. Would you say that they have a higher risk? So any person that's immunocompromised, sort of what we talk about. Mm -hmm. um, so pregnancy does lower your immune system, right? Mm -hmm. So we tend to see uh, pregnant ladies as somewhat immunocompromised in a sense. Um, so they could technically be higher risk. Okay, good to know. And then also, a lot of folks are turning to drive throughs take out, right. they don't want to dine in. Um, is there any risk in terms of spreading germs in this way as well? So I think that's perfect, right? Because we need to support our local restaurants. For sure, um, during this tough time. Exactly. So the social distancing, right, is what we keep promoting. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason that you can't support your restaurants and do takeout, right? right. Uh, if you go to the markets, people are panic buying food and supplies. And this, nobody knows how long this is going to last. Right. So the markets are going to stay open. I mean, you're going to have to buy supplies. But local takeout helps support our local restaurants. Um, it keeps those people working. And they do curbside service. Everybody's doing takeout. So you can at least eat out because most of the time you can't get a lot of food at the market at this point. Right. A lot of the stores are empty at this point. So folks, don't worry. You can still take out and do delivery services. Also, with the summer right around the corner, a lot of folks in Texas have hot tubs, pools. Is this a problem in terms of the spread of germs? So, again, it's an aerosol. It's breathing, coughing, sneezing. But when you think of hot tubs and pools, usually you're thinking of gatherings, right? Mm. So again, you're having large gatherings. People are close together. It's not so much that it's going to be in the water. Okay. It's, again, the gathering, the social distancing. You need to be distant at this point, unfortunately. Okay, and then we do have a viewer question. All right, next. I am being told by my doctor that they cannot test for the virus, even though I am symptomatic. What should I do? So, unfortunately, most of the private physician's offices, they do not have the testing kits. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to go to one of the hospitals if you truly think you have these symptoms, um, and you have to be tested at a hospital or a, a facility that is doing testing. The health department doesn't do COVID-19 testing, so it's going to be one of the local hospitals or some of these clinics, I think, are also getting them now. Okay. They need to realize that when they do that test, they're not getting the answer immediately. Yeah. Right? That swab has to be done. It has to be sent off to Houston, and then the results have to come back. So you're hearing anywhere from, you know, 24 to 72-hour turnaround time on that. But we do have capabilities here in Texas. Yes, we Texas. do. Okay. The medical center has testing kits. I know a few physician's offices that have testing kits. Um, I can't speak for the other two hospitals in the area, but... Okay, that is good to know. So we do have testing here in our right. area. Um, now, let's hope this doesn't happen, but let's just say in the case that someone contracts the virus here in Southeast Texas, Correct. what is the treatment So for the, this? So there isn't a medicine, right? right? There's not a magic pill to make this go away or we all would be taking it. Um, it's going to be supportive care, just like if you had influenza. This is a much different case of influenza. What people need to realize is there's some people walking around, they have the virus, they don't have symptoms. There's other people walking around, they have the virus, they have mild symptoms like the flu, achy, stuff like that. And then there's other people that get the severe cases, the really bad respiratory, they're on mm -hmm. ventilators. And you're seeing that more though, again, in the older population, right? Mm -hmm. Over 65, people that have heart disease, um, diabetes, uh, kidney diseases, lung diseases, immunocompromised people. That's the whole point of us trying to do this social distance. Mm -hmm. That's why nursing homes, unfortunately, are not letting people into the nursing homes, right? That's a much higher uh, group of people that are more likely to get that disease. 
All right, and then folks have been stocking up on Lysol. They've been washing their hands more thoroughly, right. trying to prevent, you know, anything from happening. Would you say that isn't that it is important to take your temperature every day? I would not take your temperature every day. Okay. Now, if you've traveled, right, you know, some of the guidelines from the CV CDC, so you've traveled to a, what we say is a level two country out of the out of the U.S., and that basically everybody's becoming a level two country, right? Yeah. Um, and you're in a place where they say you should self-quarantine. Some of the recommendations can be that you take your temperature twice a day. Then in that situation, yeah, but just us living here in Southeast Texas, taking right. your temperature every day, I would not recommend doing that. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Matt. No problem, Rachel, and thank, thank you. thank you so you. much for watching.